Hey everyone, welcome to Librarian Let's Plays. My name is Alex, and I will be uh, recording another gameplay session for you. Uh, we'll go about an hour. Uh, we are going to be playing uh, Kirby Superstar, so we're going to be playing some retro gaming. This game came out almost 25 years ago, uh, which is <laughs> crazy to think about. I love the Kirby series so much, so I am going to be playing what a lot of people consider to be the best game in the Kirby series. Um, not my personal favorite, but I certainly love Kirby Superstar as well. So let's go ahead and start a new game of Kirby Superstar. Alright, we're going to start out with Spring Breeze. So how Kirby Superstar works is there are like eight different games in one with their different goals, different objectives, and everything. So let's go ahead and start with Spring Breeze, which is kind of like the training it is not my first time playing a Kirby game. I have played many games in the Kirby series before. Yeah, this game's unique because you can make helpers out of the enemies that you copy. So they're like computer-controlled helpers. And who doesn't love classic Kirby music? Oh my goodness, this music's so good. If I use beam, we will make a helper! Let's see what's in here. Ooh, took some damage, got some health though. So you can heal your teammates in this. So if you get like a maximum tomato or something, you can go give him a helpful hug. Cutter is one of my favorite abilities in Kirby. Cool. Take our Warp Star, and our What'll Do friend will need some help. So let's see if I can find some help for him. We got Bomb. get our boss out of here and keep moving forward. Now, I have played Kirby Superstar before, but I haven't played on the Super Nintendo uh, Classic that we have here at the library. Let's go ahead and heal our friend over here. Oh, this Poppy Bro's in, like, the exact right place to keep hitting me. So, I played this game when they re-released it on the Nintendo DS as Kirby Superstar Ultra. So, I am familiar with this game. Ooh, lost my power, gotta get back. And my helper is really hurting. So we gotta be careful. You can guard in this game from attacks. Secret. Hmm. Can I go up that way? We'll dance around here. Got some good health for our Waddle Do friend. And we're going through here. Oh, looks like we got a boss fight. Against Wispy, who's often the first boss fight in every Kirby game. And I'm taking some damage. I'm not doing a good job of avoiding the puffs of the air. Ooh, our help, our helper is hurting. I'm sorry, Waddle Do friend. <laughs> we see the, the Kirby dance in all its glory. Even though we lost our dear Waddle Do friend, we'll make more helpers. We got Float Island. Trying to get used to the controls again. Trying to figure out how to. So I figure out how to pause. Now only some abilities are available in the water. I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of. Uh... Thank you. 
trying to get rid of a power so I can show more. There we go. There, I pressed the A button so I made a helper and now I can get a new power. Because it can be kind of... It can sometimes be boring to play the same power over and over again, you know? So now we're back to regular Kirby. Let's see if we can find a new power. Fighter would have been really cool if I recognized it earlier. So again, we'll be playing as much as we can get through in an hour. Now those are explosive coconuts, so we do have to be careful of those. Ice. Nice. Alright. We have ice powers. We're gonna slide under the Gordo. Gordos are nearly invincible. Go ahead, skate through all these enemies. Now let's stand at the boss. Now, I've played the Kirby series for a very long time. I've played a number of games in the Kirby series. One of my favorite series of all time, no doubt. Ooh, we got Crash Power. Okay. So if you don't know too much about Crash Power, it's like... It's like a one-time use. It's like you set off a big explosion. So it's like one use. So let's go ahead and use it here. See how much damage it does. So check the damage. Yeah, that was, that was a one hit. <laughs> that was a way to one hit the boss. So again, really powerful ability. I Crash is fun. Mike is also really good. Now see, if you have your helper last until the end, then they dance with you. So it's like an added bonus. <laughs> we'll move on to Bubbly Clouds. So I'm playing this on our Super Nintendo Classics. Here at the library, uh, we do have Nintendo Classics and Super Nintendo Classics that are available to the public. Uh, and depending on what time you're watching this video, they may or may not be available, so make sure to check back with us if you are interested. They're one of the things that have been taking a break due to, uh, the recent health concerns with the COVID crisis. Oh, and our Sir Kibble is hurting. Mm, couldn't give him health. Let's see if... Next screen? No? No, he's hurting real bad. Oh, I tried. I tried giving him health. Oh, wait, okay. He took the mirror ability. Got some health right there. Cool. I'll go ahead and be Cutter. Cutter's one of my favorite abilities. There's so many different abilities in the Kirby games. Cutter is one of my favorites, no doubt. I do also really like Mirror. I think Mirror is fun. Mirror, Beam. Ooh, we are already off up against Krakow real early. Wow, okay, our helper made our helper made quick work out of Krakow right there. Again, this is this is a good beginner stage, even though even though you'd still mess up and make mistakes. Ooh, there's that mic ability I was talking about. I don't wanna use it just yet, so I'll just try to use um slides and air puffs to get past this. Heal up. Keep. Uh, I think we can make it without that. Ooh, Poppy Bros. Alright, got Poppy Bros out of the way. We still have our Mike power. And I think Mike gets three uses in this game. So it's a really strong ability. Oh, I do really want Parasol though, but we'll keep going. And we got Stone too. I do not want to give up my Mike ability, even for even for Stone or anything. Okay, we got another. Here we go. We got full crack though. Okay. We got Mike. I did good damage. My helper's still hurting. Now, I'm taking a lot of damage. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> no. Helper. Okay. Even though our helper has no health, I think we'll still have our mirror helper friend. Samir, I guess the enemy is called. Hopefully for the next stage. Cool. And again, really fast. Spring Breeze is like the first level to kind of get you used to the basics of the game. So we'll go to Mount DDD. And see our old friend King DDD again. Cool. And our helper's still doing fine. Let's see if I can get some different copy abilities, though. Oh, 
No! Oh, I want Parasol really bad. Parasol... If I had to... If I had to say my favorite copy ability, like, off the top of my head, I'd probably go with Parasol. So I don't have one, so I gotta wait for DDD and then counterattack, but our helper is... kinda stealing the show. Ooh, there's an attack. Alright. <laughs> I feel like my helper pretty much won that match for me. <laughs> Wasn't a good showcase of the actual battle. But that's the power that helpers have in this game. Already we got a credit sequence, but we'll go ahead and skip the credits. All right, so that was that was the first game right there. Um, so some of them aren't unlocked yet. Uh, let's go ahead to Great Cave Offensive, which is like one of the one of the bigger adventures in this game. Uh, and what makes this one unique is that you are trying to collect hidden treasures, and there are a lot of awesome unique treasures in this game that you can collect. And it's like you're getting money for, like, getting them, but it's, like, a high score. So, I've played this before, and it is a lot of fun. And it's a very long game, and you can kind of go through the same places over and over again, trying to find those hidden treasures. All right, finally got our fighting ability. Oh, almost uppercutted right into... See? So treasure right here. Let's see what we get. A gold medal with, like, a value over there. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and make a helper. And let's hurry up quick. Hurry up quick to get beam ability. I don't think those flowers actually have any powers. I don't see them very often in a lot of Kirby games. Aha, we got a secret entrance over here. Oh, okay. So, we have a very strong water current. There we go. We got our second treasure. A gold coin. Now, if you really like collecting stuff, then uh, Great Cave Offensive is going to be probably the game mode you'll be most interested in. Because there are a lot of treasures in this game. And it does take a bit of time to, to beat this part. Okay, we don't want to hit that one, because it'll make like a little wall appear like right here. So that's part of the advantage of like having played this game before, even though I almost made a mistake. <laughs> I know I have a lot of Kirby fans out there, so I am in the party of Kirby fans. So if any of you ever want to talk Kirby, just, like, feel free to talk to me here at the library. If you do have, like, a favorite Kirby ability, then feel free to leave a comment. It's always interesting to see everybody's, like, opinions. Oh, I should use the ladder. Right, I think this might have me race. Beam's really helpful here, because I can use that to give me a little bit of a boost. Too slow. Let's go through this door. Uh, just brings me back to the beginning. Too slow. Eh, I don't think I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna keep going forward. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Beam and see if we can get a new ability. Cool. 
Got that out of the way. There we go. We got our helper. A lucky cat for a treasure. Not a lot of value, but the value is not a humongous deal. <laughs> cool. We'll get rid of our helper right here. And let's see if we can get some new abilities. Oh, I should have kept wing. The wing ability can be cool. We'll move forward, see what other secrets we can find. Okay. Uh... Oh, our treasure fell. But did it fall in the lava? Okay, good, it didn't. Uh, Seru Sword. Probably said that wrong, but it's okay. Gotta be a secret up here. There's our treasure. Wait, no! Oh, it made me go through the door instead. Oh, what a secret. Maximum tomato. Oh, and a safe spot. It's a safe spot. So you definitely want to save your game in this game. It doesn't auto-save like a lot of modern games. And losing your progress in here would be very... Very sad. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and make a Waddle Do helper. Ooh, big damage. And I am hurting a whole lot. I'm not very good at using the guard ability. I gotta get better at that. moving forward. And again, you do have a life system in this game, so you do have to get extra lives. Some Kirby game- oh. oh, nice play, even though I really would have liked to have the hammer ability. So helpers, as helpful as they can be, sometimes uh, sometimes can uh, ruin some of the experience, but you can always get rid of them if you want to go solo. Ooh, Spark. Oh, I destroyed Spark. Another chance. Uh, time it right. There we go. Plasma, not spark. So for this one, if you go from left to right, it's like you charge up a big beam. So you can throw little lasers. And then more complicated ones. Until you get, like, the final blast. So the more you move, the more powerful it is. And now I've got to time it right. Dang. Almost. Almost. I'm getting, I'm getting there. Finally. Starstone! And some much needed health. That was probably the most important thing. Let's take Spark back. Oh wait. Say big attacks. We got some health back. It's perfect. Oh! Mirror reflects that. Gotta be careful around mirror ability. Uh, let's go to the left, see if we missed anything. Oh, gotta give myself a posture check. <laughs> gotta be careful with slouching over when you play video games. It's 
We got wheel ability, I think. Or is that burning? Oh, that's nothing. Just an enemy. Alright, we'll take mirror. Now, mirror is actually interesting because you can cut stuff. Like this. Should be able to cut it. Hmm. I guess I am mistaken. You might need sword or something. I'm used to it being able to cut stuff. Probably need cutter or something. Now, for that, you can always come back with sword or cutter that for sure cuts. <laughs> now, I thought I'd be able to cut it with the mirror ability, but I guess not. Or maybe I'm doing it wrong. Cool. Another treasure. A cute little bandana. Uh, we'll get right there. Oh, now I can take an ability. So you can hit these little trophies, and you can change your helper and change your abilities. So we have we have the jet ability right there. Oh, they can take your helpers. So we got sword, which is gonna be perfect for this. Springtime. Let's go back to all the stuff we missed before. Ah, oh, just health. No treasure, but we got that last treasure over there, so let's keep going forward. Oh, I took my ability. It's alright, we'll go back and we'll get... We'll go ahead and stick with sword. Taking lots of damage. I gotta get better with the guard ability. Alright, we are going to say goodbye. And I will go ahead and... We will have a sword helper. Helper. And I'll have the jet ability. And our first boss fight. Oh. I am hurting real bad. I think I might lose my first life. Well, guard. See, oh, I did it right that time, but it's looking tough. So even though the opponent's in the background, it still hurts you up front. Cool. We're gonna need that to attack with. Oh, it didn't work. Oh. Ah. Alright, we'll try it again. We don't have a helper, so if you do end up losing your life, your helper does not respawn with you. Cool. That's right, we'll learn our lesson for this round. One of the tough things is if you eat someone, it's like you have no defense. We got stone ability, and we'll make a friend. And we'll try to get another piece of rubble. Cool, did some damage. Go ahead and guard here. 
And it looks like our helper is having some trouble. Cool. Blocked it. Oh, I missed. Face on the wrong way. Any rubble? No, nothing. Guard. Okay, we guard past that. I suppose it's pretty tough so far. No, I. I couldn't face the other way around again. I keep messing up. And our helper isn't doing too much, sadly. Okay. Cool. Face the right way that time. And our helper got some damage in, too. We got a fish. Ah, real quick. Ooh, and a good guard, too. We're almost done. Okay. Doing a little better with the guarding. It's all about learning. Oh, that's a lot of rocks. Nice. Okay. We got the boss. Took a little bit. A little bit of trial and error. We'll move on forward. Cool. cool. I'm gonna... Change out Rocky so I can be stone ability. And we'll go ahead, keep going in the Great K Offensive. Dip through here. It's like every area is something a little different. Ooh. Oh, stone stone is a good choice here, so I can break through everything. But we don't want to go too low. We want to get this treasure. A dime. <laughs> every little bit helps. Glass slippers. And a one-up. Much needed. Now, there are some copy abilities you can use in the water. So, stone, you can't really do anything once you're in the water. Um, copy abilities like sword, uh, parasol, hammer. Uh, you'll still have those even if you jump in the water. We got a nice safe spot right here. Cool. We'll keep saving our game. Ooh, three doors. Uh, let's go middle. Rocky, so we can get some new abilities in. Nice. Yo-Yo's a really fun ability. Even though you can't use Yo-Yo in the water, which uh, isn't great. We'll swim through this maze and let's see what we can find. Some health. Don't really need that too much right now. Surprisingly tough to swim up there <laughs> for a little bucket. Don't really need that maximum tomato, so I'm not gonna get it. Ooh. Okay. Alright, I'll get it now. Hey, you never know what's gonna happen. It's a good to save. We gotta throw. Spikes up high. Nice. 
That's where Yo-Yo kind of shines. Look at the summertime. I'm guessing there's a winter time and a autumn time. I don't know what they're gonna call that. Fall time. Big, strong current. Gotta be careful, don't hit the Gordos. Gonna be careful, gonna be careful, gonna be careful. A little less careful. Ah, there's that treasure chest from the beginning. If you timed that wrong, you wouldn't be able to... <laughs> I, would, I almost missed it. So we're back at the beginning. Ooh, that yo-yo has much bigger range than I thought it would. Let's make a helper and get ourselves a different ability. Let's go down through here. It'd be cool if you could use jet in the water. So you can kind of zip on through a little faster. But I guess that wouldn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> mm. Sadly, those, um, like... Jet, those jet fuel doesn't do any damage. I didn't even notice how much health I had. <laughs> I was guarding good in the boss fights, but now not so much. I gotta get better at using it in just regular gameplay. Okay, so we got Cutter. I was like, there's no boomerang ability, right? In this game. Ow. Alright. We have spikes that you can't see so well. We got an ancient gem. And look out. Alright, let's get some ice cream. Let's go ahead and make an ally. We got Sir Kibble back. Ooh, copy. Ooh, you can go ahead and grab wheel. They wanna do that? Alright. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with Wheel. It's pretty typical to see a lot of Wheel puzzles once you get the Wheel ability. Let's posture check real quick. I gotta try to time it right if I wanna hit that. I wanna try to hit the bomb. I might be better from this side. No. Uh, let's go ahead and... Right, get out of here. Cool. We'll make a helper and we got wheel back. Oh, we got a dud. <laughs> Alright, they're just... They're all over the place. Oh, I didn't think that'd do damage to me. No, it took my helper. Alright, we'll get it. We'll find a new friend. Alright, Wheelie. Oh, the trade. Is that gonna do damage to me? Yes, okay. Even though you can take Wheelie for a spin, it doesn't give you, like, invincibility or anything. Oh. I think I know what I gotta do. I'm taking a lot of damage for this. We got the Truth Mirror. That one's got a really high value. That's the highest I've seen thus far. And luckily it was a maximum tomato there, so... I think the people who made the game knew that someone was gonna get really hurt there. And I took a lot of damage. Alright, uh, we got new abilities to take. I'm gonna go ahead and... We're gonna get a Fighter Friend. And I'll go with Wing Ability, because I don't think you guys have seen that too much yet. We can throw Feathers. Fly, of course. You can, like, crash bomb. 
Oh, I love this boss. So this is like a this boss works like a RPG battle. <laughs> and it like keeps track of everything while it's going on. And it gets tougher and tougher every time. Oh, you can switch. Uh let me see if it gives me fire again. Oh. It bounced towards me. Uh, that's hard. Oh, good damage. A witch! Alright, we'll take bomb. Ice spell. A lot of damage. Dodge, dodge that. Alright. Nice, got some experience points. Two humor points. Four beauty points, not that I need any more. Two exam score points. Two greediness points. And two ambition points. Friendship points are the best points of all. I keep thinking those are spikes. Let's heal up. Good old friendship hug. Wait, no, Knuckle Joe. He'll teleport. <laughs> hey, Knuckle Joe is very confused by how minecarts work. Cool. On to the next area. Checking the time. We got about 20 minutes. Let's see if we can do another mode. not letting me quit out. There are other modes in this game from like simple mini games to more complex like plot kind of stories, but Great Cave Offensive is a lot, a lot of the story. Save. Uh, I could restart and go to the beginning, but I'll just keep going with this for the next 20 or so minutes. We'll go on here. Oh wait, no, we've already been here. Haven't we? It's easy. It's easy to get a uh, kind of lost where you're at. Back before, back before the internet was a thing, I would use I would draw like maps from like memory to like try to remember stuff, or like scribble down notes before uh, before websites kind of. Oh, I, I still want the parasol ability. Not for that. I keep missing I keep missing parasol. Let's see if we go back and it's there. Cool. Nice. Okay. I love parasol. Of course, with Parasol, you can float on down very nice. And if I timed that right, I could have blocked with that. Lost our helper. I'm trying to figure that out. We'll go ahead and make a parasol helper. Taking a lot of damage. Oh, good guard, just in time. Slowly but surely, I'll get better at this. A 
unicorn horn. Okay. Gotta go quick. Be safe. Guard here. Our helper is not having a great time. Uh, let's go ahead and swap our, our helper so we can get him back to full health. Oh, I missed. Hammer? Nice. You got the hammer ability. I was really worried it was gonna fall. See, it's... And... Darn, I coulda... So, that switch woulda knocked down the treasure chest, but now it'll just fall into the abyss. But, it's not gone forever if that happens. Which is good. So, let's go back and try again. I don't know if I'll have to face the boss again, though. I will, but it's worth it, because autumn time, that's that's what they went with, not fall time. <laughs> oh, almost fell. Our ally is hurting, but I really want to keep hammer. I'm sorry, helper. Oh, we got, like, little mini-bosses. Time it right. Okay, one more... One more enemy. Oh. Almost at it. It takes me way far back. So if you do end up losing your life, it does take you a little farther back than you want. So we'll go this way. Ooh, we got ninja ability. Run! Go ahead and make a friend. Cool. We got two. Up over there. Too much going on there. Uh, if only, if only we had stone or hammer for that part. Pancakes. No full health. We'll keep on going. That's the save area. Uh, what's through here? on lava. Tut's mask. We got parasol. Run quick. Another treasure chest. For that one, definitely gonna need yo yo. Cool. 
Alright. You went through there? Nice. Our treasure chest, a little rice bowl. I always like the cute little puzzles that utilize different copy abilities. Block. Nice, I got a good range attack, which is good against an uh, enemy like that. Okay, now we're going kind of backwards at this point. So it's easy to get lost in this game mode. Don't want to go that way, that leads to... We're hurting real bad again. Let's try to at least get our allies some health. Thank you. Thank you, Hopper. It's appreciated. Let's see if we can make it out without losing. Oh, much needed health. Yes. All right, good. Nice. With mirror, you can reflect. Great. Getting some awesome health here. Definitely needed. Here too. Cool. Let's go back on out. Um, you know what? We are going to try to use this minecart that we've been avoiding. I don't know where it's going to take us. I don't know if it's an area we already explored or if it's going to be a new place. It's really tough to keep track of where you're going in this game. But it might take us back to some place we've already been, but you know, we're gonna keep exploring. Oh, this looks new. Kinda looks like King Dedede's castle or something. Jet powers. Crash power. Ow. <laughs> it's alright, we got some soda. Secret treasure over there, but it's alright. Let's go through here. I really want to use this crash ability before, because it's one and done. Save thoughts here, we'll save. Uh, let's go, let's go left. See what else is over here. If you don't have abilities, you can only use slide to attack, or you can exhale the like puffs of air to attack. Crash isn't helping us here. We're gonna use a different ability. Okay. Got the block out of there. Okay. Let's go this way first. There's a trick. We'll go use the longer one. All the way over here is getting blocked by 
the passage all the way on the left. So now we're in a clouded area. And it is indeed a perfect place for the weighing ability. Tough to navigate around here. Not super clear where all the openings are. Really need that maximum tomato. I don't think there are any other secrets in there, though. Still trying to go more to the left. Like, secret opening. You just gotta kinda glide along the wall and see what you find. That's not the exit, right? This is different. No. Gotta be careful because of all the. Ramia's scale. Let's give our helper some help. Full health right there. And I could also... Grab spark ability. How do you make it down there, helper? <laughs> Aha! secret door. It's always important to try to stay charged when you're plasma powered. For this one, probably gonna need wind power. Sleep ability. Gotta hit buttons. Wake up, Kirby! Alright, there we go. We got Parasol, but we gotta make sure that we don't land on sleep again. Because sleep just kinda takes your old power and you don't. I mean, sleep, you fall asleep. <laughs> There's not, not much of a secret to it. Let's see if Parasol will work for us. No, it kind of attacks from left to right. We'll just keep going forward. I don't know, something like Fighter would work there really well, like doing an uppercut. No opening there. Cool. There's our secret. We did have a warp star over there. Alright. Nice, it worked out. And a one up. Going to the next area. Let's see how much time we have left. Oh, we got about five minutes. Let's see if we can get anything else done. This kind of took us back to the beginning. Uh, let's try the right route. 
bum. Ah, I got directions to choose. Have to get the timing just right. Cool, we got a treasure. Pegasus wing. Oh, that's right. If you turn your back on those enemies, then they get real vicious. It's real tough to get the timing just right on here. Def definitely take some practice. There we go. Maybe I can make it to one more boss. There's our boss. Yo, we'll go ahead and get our boss for suplex ability, which is really fun. We got another treasure, we got a raccoon doll. Very cute. Once crash falls, they also do an explosion and it'll do some damage to you. <laughs> Suplex is a really fun ability. All our enemies are gone! Let's see if we can get that treasure or if I'm gonna get Gordoed. The answer is Gordoed. Oh man. Alright. With that, we're gonna call it good game here. I hope you enjoyed watching me play through Kirby Superstar. Very fun game. I love the Kirby series so much. One of my favorite series ever. And Kirby Superstar is definitely one of the most important games in the Kirby series. No doubt about it. So if you're ever at the library and our Super Nintendo and regular Nintendo classics are available, Feel free to check them out so you can play this game yourself. Otherwise, make sure to look out for another uh, library and Let's Play. It's been a lot of fun playing video games for you. We'll have some more awesome video game content in the future. We'll see you next time.